I'm Anil Kumar and in this set of videos we are going to learn how to solve linear systems. Now linear systems means we are working with two or more linear equations, right? System is formed when you have more than one equation. So we're working with two or more equations. We'll also learn how to define variable and write an equation. So that's the kind of exercise which we'll concentrate on in first five videos and then we'll take more complicated examples to explore the techniques learned in these five videos right question number one here is length of a rectangle is six centimeter greater than the width the length and width add to 46 centimeter find area of rectangle so always begin with sketching a diagram Sometimes it may be very difficult, you can avoid, but most of the time it is simple, so you should always sketch, right? Okay, so we say length of rectangle is six centimeter greater than width. So we're talking about two things, one is length, one is width. So let's define the variables. So first step is define variable. So that is done by let statement, we say let length be L and width be W. Is it okay? Now, once we have variables, we can make equations. So in our diagram, uh, this is length for us and that is the width. And it's a rectangle, so opposite sides are equal. Okay, let me make 90 degrees. So we say, first statement is, Length of a rectangle is 6 centimeter greater than the width. First statement, right? It means length of rectangle is 6 centimeter greater. This is greater by 6. So we can write one equation. Length is 6 centimeter greater than, so W comes first, W plus 6. It was smaller, this will be negative, W minus, right? Okay, so that becomes our equation number 1. We'll number it as 1. It's good to write equation and number it. The second statement is, so, so the first equation from the first statement, second statement is the length and width at 246. So that's the second statement, right? And very simple, length and width at 246. That means we are saying uh, length plus width equals to 46. Is that correct? That's what we are saying. They add to 46. This is my equation number 2. So we have a linear system since we have more than one equation to work with. So what we have here is two variables, two equations. To solve, the number of equations should be same as number of variables. That is important. So we can solve it. Now, from 1, we know what L is in terms of width. So we can substitute. So what we will do now is will substitute this is sub L from equation 1 in equation 2. Is it okay? So L is W plus 6. So we'll replace this L with W plus 6. Is it okay? That is a substitution for length. We already have width equals to 46. Now we have equation in one variable. So when you do this, we have equation in one variable. So let's find what that variable w is. So it is w plus w is 2w. So 2w plus 6 is 46. Take away 6 from both sides. 2w equals to 46 minus 6, which is 40. And w will be 40 divided by 2, which is 20. Do you get it? So we get the value of w. So at least we have found one of the variables. I'm writing this as my equation number three. How do I find length? To find length, we'll sub w from three to one, right? In one, is it okay? So I'm making this substitution now. So getting back to length, is it okay? So we can write down length is equals to, instead of w, I'm writing 20. So let me write 20, okay, plus 6. 
which is 46. Now the second part is units. You could have written L in centimeter, W in centimeter. So we, when you write down answer, write units in the answer. So answer, find area. So we don't in, only have to find length and width, we have to find area, right? So I really forgot about it. Let me write down. What is area equals to? Area equals to length times width. Now length is 46. Let's write centimeter for length and width also centimeters. So that means, uh, I'm sorry, 26. So length times width. So it is 26 times 20. The units will be centimeter square, correct? So just multiply them. We get 0, 2 times 6, 12, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 520 centimeters square, right? So that is the area. Is it okay? So we get the area by multiplying length and width. Anyway, so you have understood how to find a solution to such questions. We could have written here area is length times width. Is it okay? And then finally we found this area as length we found as 26, this was 20, and the area was, let's use calculator, 20 times 26 equals to 520 centimeters squared. Is it okay? So, so that completes the solution of the given question. It's a simple question, but the idea here is to understand these steps. Step number one is sketch a rough diagram, define variables, for each statement given in the question, write an equation, correct? And then solve for variables using techniques of substitution or elimination. Write your answer clearly, including units. That's very important. You have to include units when you write your answer. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. So in the coming videos, I'm not going to explain you in this detail. We'll just go ahead and solve. I hope you appreciate it. You can always share my videos and feel free to write comments. Thank you and all the best.